Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Rosanna Yuri from Beyond the Horizon Travel Agency. As Peruvian-born and certified Peru agent specialist, I decided to make this video or share with you the top 10 tips about traveling to Peru. The first one is please prearrange your transfers. You do not want to take a taxi from the airport. It is dangerous. It's better if you have to take it anyway, please take the ones that have credentials, the ones that are certified and are inside the airport. They will be a little bit more pricey, it's true, but it's absolutely worth it. But again, I highly recommend to prearrange with your travel agent your transfers from the airport to the hotel. Uh, number two, I will highly recommend you to go and spend some time in Lima downtown, visit the government palace and the churches around Santo Domingo, and you will love it. It's very nice. But also be cautious with your belongings. Be aware that there, even though it's a highly security area and it's a lot of tourism over there, you can always have some bad moments with some tips. So please be cautious with your camera, your your video recorder with your money and if you carry your passport with you be very very cautious i will suggest you to leave it all those things in your safety deposit in your hotel just carry a small camera or something like that uh, number three i will say please visit chinatown you will love it it's it's a uh, it's like being in chinatown in san francisco here in u.s it's a beautiful area where you will find all kind of vegetables and fruits, all fresh. And definitely you have to eat chifa. That is uh, what Peruvians call to Chinese food, but has some influence from Peruvian uh, dishes too. It's delicious and my favorites are in Capone Street. One of them is Kontong and the other one is Salon China. If you want some more information where I am and everything, you just can email me or contact me on this way and I will send you the address and everything else. For me, one of those are the best places to eat, the Calle Capón. Then, number four is uh, you need to know if you, look, if you love beaches like I do, the best time for travel to Peru is in the summer and it's uh, for beach lovers. It's from January to March and you have to visit, of course, the beaches in the south of Lima. My favorite ones is uh, Señoritas, Santa Maria, Embajadores, um, Punta Rocas, especially is, this beach is very good for those who like surfing, and El Silencio, those are for those that love swimming. You will see that the beach is gorgeous and you can and you can even find a place to it. You can eat on the beach and drink a beer. For me that's the most amazing experience. And of course at the going keep going south of Lima you will find Asia. That is like a new neighborhood with a new houses and very nice area with eateries and places to shop. But it's not my favorite because it's pretty similar to many places that you can find here in the U.S., but also it's worth it to visit if you want to go to the discos and stuff like that. Number five is if you are an adventure lover, we have very, very close to Lima Lunawana, and over there you can do river crafting. It's uh, located in Cañete. It has also great eateries. You have to eat over there shrimp. It's delicious. And also... Um, you have hotels, all kind of hotels, different budget hotels that you will enjoy. Number six, it's you definitely have to try Peruvian music. You have to definitely uh, go to a Peña. It's a place where you will listen the music, Peruvian music, and you will see the dances at the day and you will be able to dance and, and enjoy the Peruvian music. My favorite one, because I consider it's more genuine, it's Brisas del Titicaca, is where you will see all the dances from the coast to the jungle to the Andes of Peru. 
And from that, my favorite dance is Marinera Peruana, and they have the best dancers of all of them. That's amazing. You will love it. I also suggest and recommend you to visit Pachacamac ruins. That is a few minutes from Lima. And the cars, the buses usually depart from Miraflores. It's almost every day. And that will give you a great idea of Peruvian ancient culture. When you are when you are traveling to Peru, please take in account that if you're going to be in the jungle area, you will need a yellow fever vaccination. Also, we highly, highly recommend you to bring a lot of sunscreen, sunblocks, because the sun in Peru is very hard, especially in Machu Picchu area. Uh, bring mosquito repellents a lot. You need to bring a poncho because depending on the time of the year that you're coming, you may encounter some rain, so just bring some sort of poncho to protect you from that. And of course, sunglasses, comfortable shoes for hiking and walking. Machu Picchu is a lot, a lot of walking, so make sure that you bring very comfortable shoes for that. Also, the tip number nine is be, be cautious with the luggage that you bring make sure that the measurements on the weight are according to Peruvian Airlines. If you're going from Lima to Machu Picchu, take in account that you will take a flight and make sure that that's according to Peruvian Airlines. And if you're going to take a train for going to Machu Picchu, that really is the only way to get to Machu Picchu, make sure that your luggage is also according to the guidelines that they have. Uh, the trains are small in the space for luggage, so please follow those regulations. And the last one is if you are in Peru, definitely you have to try Peruvian food. My favorite dishes and the ones that I recommend you to try is uh, ceviche, ceviche mixto, the facile kind of seafood and seashells. I highly recommend you to try uh, ají de gallina, lomo saltado, causa rellena. Those are among my favorites. And my favorite places to eat Peruvian, authentic Peruvian food is Brujas de Cachiche and La Huaca Pupiana, where you also can see the Huaca and learn about the history of the Huaca in that area in, in Peru. If you're traveling with your family and you want to experience some kind of uh, all-inclusive resort, we have one that is very close also to Lima. It's in Ate. The name is uh, El Pueblo. And it's a very nice hotel with a kind of hacienda type. And there you will find all kind of activities for your kids and also activities for you at night. You have many swimming pools and you have uh, all kind of drinks and food all included in your package. It's a very nice experience. It's great for families. If you would like to learn some more about Peru, if there's something specific that you would like me to do a video with, feel free to suggest me and give me your ideas. I'm here to help you with your traveling to Peru. And thank you so much for watch this video. Bye.